Hey everyone, welcome back to Guide Me Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to download ChatGPT's read aloud audio files. Now here's a fun little fact to start with, this entire video script, yep, ChatGPT helped me write it. Honestly, ChatGPT is doing all the heavy lifting these days, from writing stories to even scripting this tutorial. So if you've ever wondered how powerful this tool is, this video is a great example. All right, let's get started and bring that audio file from ChatGPT right to your computer. So here's a conversation where I asked ChatGPT to tell me a short story. Let's take a look at the text it generated. Pretty neat, right? Now let's listen to how it sounds by pressing play on the read aloud button. Jason was just another software developer buried under lines of code, fixing bugs for a company that barely noticed him. One late night while debugging an old project, he stumbled upon a strange, undocumented function. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But did you know you can change the voice? And if to do that, click on the settings icon here, go to the speech options, and pick the one that suits you best. Let's try a different one. Jason was just another software developer, buried under lines of code, fixing bugs for a company that barely noticed him. Ah, much better. Now that we have the voice we like, let's move on to downloading this audio file. To do this, we'll need to use Chrome's developer tools. If you're using Google Chrome, press F12 on your keyboard, or you can right-click anywhere on the page and select Inspect. This will bring up the developer tools window. Once you're here, click on the Network tab. If you don't see it, click the double arrows icon and you'll find it in the drop-down menu. This network tab is a super handy tool. It monitors all the files that your browser is loading in real time, from images to text and even audio files. Next, let's refresh the page by clicking the Refresh button. This will reload all the network traffic logs. Now, as you can see, a bunch of entries have appeared here. These represent all the files that were loaded on the page. But if we take a closer look, none of them are the audio file we want. To make things easier, let's clear these logs by clicking on the little trash can icon at the top. Now that everything is clean, let's play the audio again and see what pops up. Jason was just another software developer, buried under lines of code. There we go. The audio file just showed up. It's the one that takes a little longer to download and you might notice a progress bar while it loads. That's the file we're after. Next, right click on this file. If you're on a Mac, select copy as C URL. Then, open your terminal, paste the command, and at the end, add this command, dashed output audio file name dot AAC. This will save the file to your computer. Now, for Windows users, we need to copy it as PowerShell. Once we copied that, let's open PowerShell. To do that, just type PowerShell in the Windows search bar, and once it pops up, click to open it. All right, now let's paste the command we copied and press Enter. Let's give it a second. Okay, now we need to tell PowerShell where to save our audio file. To do that, open Windows Explorer and navigate to the folder where you want to save the output. In my case, I want to save it in the Downloads folder. So I'll right-click on the Downloads folder, then select Properties from the drop-down menu. In the window that opens, click on the Location tab. Here you'll find the full path to this folder. Let's copy it. Back in PowerShell, after pasting the command, type dash out file, followed by a space. Then inside quotation marks, paste the folder path you just copied. Add a backslash and the file name you want to save it as. For example, mine will look like this. Once you're done, press enter. And that's it. The audio file is downloading. It only takes a few seconds. Now let's check the folder to make sure the file is there. Here it is, gptstory.aac. Let's play it to confirm. Jason was just another software developer, buried under lines of code, fixing bugs for a company that barely noticed him. One late night while debugging an old project. Perfect. The full audio is here, just like we heard it in ChatGPT, and now it's saved for you to use anytime you want. One last thing, if you'd like to edit the audio, like trimming it or adding effects, you can use any audio editing software. Personally, I use Audacity, but there are plenty of options out there. It's up to you. That's all for today, folks. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Guide Me Tutorials, for more easy to follow tech tips. Got questions or ideas for my next video? Drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.